plaintiff, Shayna Gilmore, met the defendant through her witness, who used to date him. Shayna hired the defendant to take professional pictures of her, but she claimed she was unhappy with the proofs, and the defendant ended up using the pictures to promote a strip club, and she has the flyer to prove it. Shayna is suing for a refund. Defendant Rashid Green claims during the photo shoot, Shayna was flirting with him and he continually denied her advances. Rashid believes the only reason Shayna wants a refund is because he refused to date her and he insists Shayna gave him authorization to use her pictures on the strip club flyer. Prove the case. Okay. Your Honor, I am an aspiring actress and model. Due to yours truly, the defendant, I'm looked upon as an aspiring stripper. I am... Um, <laughs> I know him through KK, in which she's with me. Um, he had took some very nice photos of her, in which I liked them. At that point, I wanted him to go ahead and proceed to take my pictures. On October the 31st, we went to his house. He was gonna <laughs> take the pictures. And when I say he pulled out a camera that looked like this, <laughs> a digital <laughs> Poirot camera, I'm like, what is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? He's like, well, it's not about the camera you use. It's about who takes the pictures. He says, you can use a $5,000 camera and have horrible pictures. I'm gonna Photoshop everything. Everything's gonna be immaculate. I took his word for it, mm -hmm. okay? So prior, in the midst of him taking the pictures, he's saying, oh, I sure wish I knew you before I knew KK, which is my um, friend here. I sure wish I knew. I said, you know what? Let's just keep it professional. Let's focus on the pictures. So Before I knew KK. That, that suggests that he was dating your friend. Correct. At that point. Correct. Okay. Knew they you were. to do what? Hold on. Knew you to do what? You knew me to talk to me. No. You know what she Okay, means. so, <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. So, yeah, so in the midst of me waiting for my actual pictures, I took them, again, October the 31st. I go to work. Um, I did, I'm waiting for my pictures, in which I think he's taken long due to the fact that I wasn't giving him any play at all, like not trying to talk to him whatsoever. I go to work. Good thing. People are making comments suggesting that I'm a stripper. Saying like, but I didn't really think anything of it. I just, you know, brushed off. Thought Why? it was jokes. Why did they suggest and you? So, so look, look, come to find out, what happens is a girl comes and says, "Well, how, do you make a lot of money doing what you do?" She pulls out this flyer right here. This right Let's here. See it. Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Well, nothing to worry about. I actually want to do it too." I was literally like mm -hmm. so embarrassed when she what showed me this flyer. What did you intend to do with your pictures? I just to add update to my portfolio. I have a lot of various different portfolio pictures. Portfolio for what purpose? I'm just trying to actually do something because I haven't done anything. So it wasn't that you were ashamed of the picture? The pictures were horrible. Oh, OK. The quality of the picture. The quality of the picture. And then it wasn't for him to advertise because that's not how I want to be portrayed as a getaway. If it's, as a it's, it's horrible, why you don't want to be portrayed, portrayed as like a that. stripper? Correct. OK. Obviously, you didn't mind being portrayed to the public. Correct. All right. So at that point, I'm blowing his phone up. I'm calling him. Approximately prior, what date is this? Because this is approximately the beginning of January. Okay. Prior to this, I received my pictures the end of December, and they were horrible. When I have them, like the top of my head was cut I off. I see him. Okay. So I suppose the defamation claim that you're making is for the distribution of the flyer saying that you were a stripper. Correct. And the breach of contract is because you believe these pictures are uh, not um, what he yeah not up to quality that you expect. And definitely not Photoshop and what he promised he would do. OK, let's hear that part of the contract. OK, so I didn't receive these pictures to the end of December. So mm -hmm. he made me wait from October to December. So mm -hmm. I thought they would just be immaculate mm -hmm. when I received them. They were Horrible, like I said, the top of the head cut off. Let me look at them again. See Some how horrible you say that? Some of my weaves showing. No, I don't. <laughs> you can look. <laughs> head cut off on well on two pictures, perhaps three. Weave showing. That's your side. weave. Next time I get it done better. I ask, whatever. Get professional whatever. Done. I do, trust I do me, the best hair, only the best. I'm only as good as my mom. Whatever, talk about how you I'm splurged on my, my friend. Mom. You bought us stuff, whatever. Plaintiff Shayna Gilmore hired the defendant to take professional pictures of her, but he ended up using those pictures to promote a strip club without her authorization. And she has the flyer to prove it. So when you saw the pictures, what did you say? 
So at that point, they were unacceptable. I said, you know, I've waited too long for these pictures. I don't like them, which I have the actual agreement stating that if I was not satisfied, he would give me my money back. Minus equipment. Let me give you that. Minus some you equipment. You have a contract fee. is what you're saying? Yes, you're showing I do. Me? I have this. And then I also have the contract stating that I did not release some authorization to which use my pictures. Which is the most recent? This the one. most recent. The uh, most recent one is here. Because that's what is effective today. It does not say anything about you being able to, if photos are, it does in small writing, <laughs> if <laughs> photos are not to your liking, there is a money back guarantee minus any equipment or operational costs. Correct. And so you told him at that point they weren't to your liking? Correct. And so what did I he say? Them. No. I'll, I'll let him bring oh. me up to date. Sir, go ahead. You okay, tell me the off, background on this. First off. Only reason we here, because I wouldn't date her. That's all it boils down to. She hit on if, you? For sure she hit on me. <laughs> oh, sure. Tell me when. If, if yeah. I would have dated her, we wouldn't be here right now. Tell me when she hit on you. From day one. Tell me, tell okay, me well, how she hit on you day one. Okay, initially, when we said she, she seen the pictures, like I say, I, KK was my ex-girlfriend, but she seen the pictures. She said, I want to update my portfolio. Can you help me? I want to be a, I'm a, want to be a model. But come on, we from LA. Everybody want to be a model. I understand. We're talking but, about her hitting on you, remember? Right. When I All got right, to, <laughs> let's get to that. Okay, well, when we Wait, got to the, when we got to the location, now she's telling me, "Oh, you nice. You look so good. Can we go out?" I'm used to it, so I just brush it off. It's not. It's normal. He gave me no, no. I mean, I'm flattered. Do you respond at all? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't respond. You I didn't, didn't say yes, no, or maybe. I just smiled, grinned and laughed. That's what okay. I did. That's, is that the only time she hit on you? No. Tell me the next time. When she came to look over the pictures, we did. A, I did a proof sheet first. Uh -huh. She came, she looked over. And she had this skimpy little black lep uh -huh. leopard print with knee high boots. Uh -huh. And I'm like, this is how you're picking up pictures? Mm -hmm. OK. And she's telling me again, why don't we go out? You know, I really like your car. Can can we ride? Just take this is when she came to pick yeah. up the pictures. Uh, pick up the pictures, uh -huh. yeah. And, and what did you oh, say God. when she was hitting on you this time? She almost got me that day. She almost, she almost got, you almost got you that day. She almost got you that day. Those cars are rentals. They are rentals. She almost got me that day. I mean, you know, she like 20 something. I'm a, you right. know, so what did, so you held strong. <laughs> I held strong. Like a, I'm dating a friend. That only yeah. work out in the movies. All right. So dating. I'll just push it aside and Not just, even you know, I kind of mm -hmm. let her know later on, like, I now, is this the day she expressed her dislike for the pictures? No, she didn't tell me she didn't like them until like about a week or so later. What did I, she I say think, that day that she came to pick them up and looked at them? She was more talking about me than the pictures. Absolutely not. I mean, she said she looked at them. She liked, she liked them. I mean, all these poses, these risky, risque poses, that's her idea. Because I got some other ones. Oh. What other ones? Show Let's them. Let's see. Okay. Let's see the other ones. <laughs> Oh, you want to see these? <laughs> I'm just saying, hey. <laughs> wow, <laughs> whatever. These are pretty much the same. The She's same. turned around showing her, well, ma'am, you're brawless. Well, see, I was trying to figure out what kind of model she wanted to be. I didn't know. Why would I need you to expose me? Who are you? Because I build careers. I'm with SAG. No, well, you're not. You did have him expose you. I build careers. No, That's I didn't what tell I him to use my pictures, No, period. no, but I'm saying he took pictures of you while exposed. Well, covered, yeah. That, okay. Those are what right. I wanted for my Anyhow, personal let's, uh, use. Anyhow, let's get back to what was said. I said these are not what I expected. These have not been photoshopped. And what did he say? He said it's not a problem for him to give me my money back. He okay. said, I'm going to be leaving town now. Give me a call sometime around the first of the month uh -huh. because I'm going to be leaving for around Christmas. First of and all January. That. Right. Uh -huh. OK. And in the gap between I was waiting for the my money back is when that incident happened at work. So. He said, I need more time to pay you. Correct. And what did you say? OK, that's fine. OK, so you gave him more time to pay you. Yeah. When is the next time you ask for your refund? The next time I didn't. He stopped. He started avoiding my phone calls. Okay. So I never got to actually physically talk to him about it after that first time. OK, let's discuss the refund with you. Give me okay. your side. So she did. She did express her concern about a refund. I'm a cool laid back kind of dude. So I said, no problem. I'll give you money back. I'd rather give her money back than deal with the harassment. Anything to get her to stop calling me. I don't care. So I did agree to give her money back. I said, minus my expenses. Once 
she constantly harassed. And when she constantly, I told her, I'm not giving you nothing back. She got over 100 pictures. Why? Because she has over 100 pictures. You didn't, I don't have them. You have them. You took them possession of you them. You knew that when you told her she was going to get a refund. Uh, initially, like I said, initially, I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't mind. Mm-hmm. I, I mind because, of course, that's my money. Mm-hmm. So I mind. But at the same time, I'm a businessman. I'll take care of business. Good enough. Sounds like you had an agreement and you broke it. That's where we're at. All right. (laughs) Plaintiff Shayna Gilmore hired the defendant to take professional pictures of her, but he ended up using those pictures to promote a strip club without her authorization. And she has the flyer to prove it. Let's get to uh, your pictures, ma'am. The the distribution without your permission. I was very, very upset. As you should have been. Right. So I start calling. You use my pictures for a cheap two for one. If you look at the flyer, it says two for one. So not only am I portrayed as a stripper, but like a cheap stripper at that. So okay. I'm just like. Sir? <laughs> you know, sir, did you get permission I to did. distribute her picture? I did. Like I say, when she initially kind of told me she wants to be a model. I had a contract where she signed to where she agreed. I can use her image on, at any means that I need possible, Let's see that I've seen fit. Ma'am, did you sign a contract such as this? I did. And you it did? Was, I did. Saying and he it, can use your image as... That, hold on. Saying he can use your image as he sees fit? Ask, if you look at the date, Your Honor, on uh-huh. that was October the 31st, uh-huh. the same exact day. Uh-huh. The very next day, November the 1st, uh-huh. I went back over there and we got that cleared up. The model will allow the artist to capture images and sound recordings for use in media. Correct. What changed? And only place I could find Quiet. him in the picture was a club. What changed? What, what changed is just that was simply an error. I did not give him. Can you turn the back, please? Read something that contradicts what I just said, that he cannot use them in the media. At the bottom, I do not give consent to the said use of images and sound recordings based on the consent. This agreement, I understand that the artist will not use my image and sound recording for the use in media at the bottom right here. Ma'am, you have two conflicting clauses in the same contract. So that makes the agreement invalid. You don't have a valid agreement when you say two different things in the same agreement. So I can't grant you a judgment for that. I'll grant you a judgment for the uh, amounts that he has failed to refund to you. And that is two thousand dollars, two thousand for the plan. Have a good day. I do not believe they're hitting on each other. I might maybe him because he's very like persuasive. He does a lot. Me and him were never a boyfriend and girlfriend. He just always used to just splurge me, take me out, do little things like that. But I don't, I know my friend, she's my, she's been my friend for a long time. I don't believe that. And uh, she been hitting on me from day one. Understandable. When you find like this, it, it goes like that sometimes. Uh, we met this fool at the mall. He bought us stuff the same day, knock it off. 